Hi everyone, again it's Ken LaRue with my shotgun tip for the day as part of our 30 tips in 30 days. And today's tip is about email notifications and the settings you have available to really control what notifications are being sent to your actual email. Within Shotgun, every user has an inbox and depending upon what you are tasked to do and what you are following, you will receive notifications and updates inside of your inbox. This is great, but what if you wanted to also receive notifications to your email that is associated with your Shotgun account? Well, it's your lucky day because that's what I'm going to show you today. As everyone knows, you have an email that is associated or part of your Shotgun account. And if you want to see what that is, you can go to the user settings flyout in the upper corner and choose account settings. Under account, it's going to have the email that you have associated with your Shotgun account. Right below that, you have the email notifications. Clicking on that is going to bring up two different categories with a lot of options as to how you control what email notifications you're going to receive. Along the bottom, this is our legacy notifications, and these work very well. The only thing I'll say about them is you cannot refine or really filter what you're going to receive. What I mean by that is I can come over here and I can check subscribe to all notes in the project that I have access to. This means every single note that comes through in this project that I'm working on, I will receive email notifications. You also have the object to subscribe to notes addressed to or CC to you or the groups that you are in. Plus, you can get updates on tasks in your project. You can get updates on tasks that are assigned to you or the groups that you're in or the tasks that are CC to you in the groups that are in. And you can subscribe to different versions created in the project. And you can receive emails when someone creates a new version on any shot or asset, etc., that you are working on where you've been assigned to that task. And the last option is to receive emails for versions created on shots, assets, and other things that you have been CC'd on. Now these do work, as I said, but you are dependent on other people to make sure they've addressed the notes to you or the task or the version, or they've CC'd you on those notes, tasks, and versions. And if they don't, you won't be receiving email notifications. Also, if I subscribe to all the notes in my project, I'm going to be getting a lot of emails that have no relevance to what I really need to see. So what we're going to recommend to you is to use one or both of these two top options here. Subscribe to notes in your inbox and subscribe to updates in your inbox. If I enable both of these, what this means is only the information that is sent to my inbox based on what I am following in the project will then also send a notification to my email. One of the video tips earlier as part of our 30 tips in 30 days was focusing on following different entities inside of Shotgun. And if you didn't watch that video, I recommend you go back and watch it because it's a great tip, but also I'm going to quickly explain how you follow something here inside this video, but not go as deep into it as I did inside the other video. Now let's say I want to receive email notification for specific shots or tasks. I leave these two checked here and I'll go to a project. I'll come down and go to shots. If I right click over any of the thumbnails inside this page, I get the option to follow selected or unfollow selected. And if I click on the actual name, I go to the activity stream for that shot and you'll see the follow button in the upper corner. I enable that, I'm now following this shot, which means my inbox will get information based on the progress of this shot, which then in turn will send a notification to my email. If I go to the task page, I can go to individual tasks and do the same thing. So now if I want to receive email notifications on the modeling progress of this asset, I go to the modeling activity page, I enable following. Now, whenever something has been updated, as far as this model for this asset, I'm going to receive an email about it. So you can go through your project, enable following on only the information that you want to receive an email notification or information in your inbox. They're tied together now. And then to refine this even further, I can go down to my account settings, 
once again, you're going to see the My Following Settings. I can further refine exactly what information I am following as far as the different entities, from the shots to the task and the people. So instead of enabling any of the legacy notifications, we recommend you using either one or both of the subscribe to notes or subscribe to updates, and then you'll only receive email notifications based on the different entities that you are following in your project. So that's our tip for the day in our 30 tips in 30 days.